resources and information, visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. Visit Lander Gambles to make your home to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles, your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288 association member it all comes down to seven principles open membership one voice one vote member benefits operation and community to understand how it all works we're headed back in time in 1879 electricity was in major cities but rural areas were out of luck in 1935 president fdr made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas by the time hundred electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural america just like high plains power for more information visit high Hey, this afternoon's event, Lander Valley High School versus Green River. It's a beautiful day here in Lander. As you can see, we've got mostly clear blue skies, warm weather, nice clear mountain backdrop. You can see the North Fork of the Papoja just there in the background as we've got the girls game first, immediately followed by the boys later this afternoon. Should be an exciting mid-season affair as we get underway here. Ball traveling down the near side. Looking to apply some early pressure there, Lander, as the ball goes out of bounds for an early corner kick here. Promising start. As both teams lined up inside the 18-yard box in a corner kick here as several players crash the box. Ball comes in, sails just over the heads of everyone, and out of bounds for a Green River throw. Today's starting lineups for t for the game include, um, for Lander first, we've got Aislinn Donahue in goal, Adams, Tinley Reisig, Brinley Hammond, Blue Blackburn, Mason Morton, Mason's the captain today, Addison Weston, ball rolls in, oh, and a goal there! A beautifully well-worked goal there by Lander, just as I was reading the starting lineup. Only two minutes into this game, although it looks like an offside flag is up. The line judge on the near side has called offside, so that goal will not count. Momentary excitement there for Lander Valley, but the score remains 0-0 here early in the first half. Promising signs, though. Lander will be excited to feel they've started aggressively here. Lander Valley wins a throw in on the far side. I'll continue with the starting lineup. Ella Stanberry also starts today along with Ali Atnip, Finley Morton, Georgia Chance. Green River looking to make some forward progress here for the first time in the game. A nice long ball through in the near side, but that will just roll out of play. And an offside flag was up as well. Either way, that's going to be Lander possession. A 
a real spring afternoon here. One of the warmest days of 2024 so far here in Fremont County. Spectators are enjoying a sunny afternoon wearing short sleeves and baseball caps to protect their eyes and keep a good view on the contest before them. Nice controlled first touch there. We'll just get away from Lander Valley for a Green River throw. And a cross comes in there, but collected by Aislinn Donahue in goal. That'll be a handball there and a turnover to a Lander Valley possession right around the halfway mark. So four minutes into this game, both teams seem to be kind of settling down. A lot of balls bouncing around in the midfield. That early goal in the net from Lander Valley that was called offside w was kind of the dramatic event so far. Things have settled a little bit since that early moment. As the free kick comes in, Lander looks to control. And that'll roll out for a Green River throw. Completing the starting lineup today for the Green River Lady Wolves, we have Michaela Flores, Olivia Morris, Autumn Sachs, Marley Magana, Murley, rather, Izzy Walker, Miley Maley, Izzy Vasco, Hannah Davis, Taya Johnson, Brinley Cordova, Clara Kubal. Nice pass there, looking for Blue Blackburn moving forward up the field for Lander. Blue Blackburn, a player who has quickly this season announced herself as a offensive threat for this Lady Tigers team. A bag full of goals already to her name this season. She'll be looking to improve on her tally today. And that'll be another Green River throw in here on the near side. Number two, Olivia Morris to take it. Green River just looks to clear their lines here. Still minimal settled possession from either team early in the first half. Green River with an opportunity just to carry the ball up through the midfield. The run continues here. A long, strong run and a neat finish. Green River with a solo goal. That was number 17, Issa Vasco. Vasco there collected the ball in her own half, dribbled through a crowd of Lander Valley Tigers all the way to the far side of Aislinn Donahue's box and a tidy finish across the face of goal into the far post. A wrong-footed Donahue there for quite an impressive effort. That'll be 1-0 here to Green River early. Lander will look to respond. That early goal just against the run of play. Lander with kind of the early threats to score. Green River there with their first shot on goal gets on the score sheet and goes up 1-0. Cross comes into the box for Lander and that will just sail out of play for a goal kick. Well, once again, an impressive goal to kick this game off there for that was um, 
That was Issa Vasco for the Green River Lady Wolves dribbling through many Lander Valley Lady Tigers. Just gave Issa some space there and she really capitalized on it as an early chance there to Blue Blackburn rolls wide. This will be a corner kick on the near side for Lander Valley. Nice ball comes in and threatening ball into the middle though there from the corner. Nice left footed floater into the danger area but couldn't quite capitalize on the set piece there Lander Valley. They will have another free kick here around midfield. Will likely be taken long into the box. Ball comes in and will bounce all the way through into the hands of Michaela Flores in goal. Flores did not quite get a hold of that goal kick and a shot attempt there from Lander Valley traveled wide. A mistake from Flores, but she gets away with it. Green River once again struggling to play out from the back here. High press and good pressure, winning the ball back now. Here on the near side. Green River again now. More strong work from Green River's number 17, Issa Vasco, the goal scorer, just to play the ball out of the danger area there. Vasco again now runs forward, trying to break through the lines of Lander Valley. It is clear, though, that Vasco for Green River will be the primary offensive threat today for Green River. As they look to take a throw in on the far side. Finding Vasco now. The cross comes in, headed away by Lander Valley. And a clean tackle there from Lander Valley wins possession. Still Lander Valley with it now. Again, looking to use her pace to break through Lander Valley's back line. That one will roll out for a Green River throw. And a foul there as Lander Valley charges forward. They will win a free kick here in a dangerous area. Number 31, Lily Pugrad, stepping up to take the free kick for Lander. Also won the foul here on the near side. This is a good opportunity. A dangerous set piece with multiple forwards lined up at the top of the 18 box for Lander, including frequent goal scorer Blue Blackburn. We just wait for a few Green River substitutions here.
Number 35, Aaliyah Gilbert checks in. As well as number 11, Marilee Magana. And the free kick comes in now. Ooh, a dangerous ball. Looked to be heading just for the far side of the goal, but pawed away there well by Green River's Michaela Flores in goal. That was a dangerous direct shot there from the from the dead ball. Lander does win a, f a corner kick in the process on the near on the far side. And yet another substitution for Green River, number 14, Miley Melee. Corner kick now. Ooh, and a shot. Just over the crossbar, another good effort there from Lander. That's their fifth shot. Only only one of which was on target. That was the effort from the from the free kick a moment ago. Zero scoreline in favor of Green River. This game has been mostly Lander with the early pressure. Thirteen minutes in. Good pressure to win the ball back in a dangerous area from Lander Valley, and a shot will roll wide. Well wide in the end there, but more evidence of the effective high press from Lander Valley. Looking to just dis disrupt Green River's ability to play the ball out of their back line, win it high up the, high up the pitch, and apply some pressure on Michaela Flores in goal. Green River now again. Again, Issa Vasco with the solo run. Looks to create a shot. It almost does, but some physical defensive play from Lander Valley center backs just as enough to shut that down and get the ball out of play. Though Green River does have a corner kick here. Once again, the danger... Came from Green River's number 17, Issa Vasco, the goal scorer. Corner comes in. Collected by Vasco at the top of the 18. Shot blocked. Still Green River. And a lander throw. Blue Blackburn looking to progress up the field for Lander Valley. And finally cleared away. Vasco again looking to turn. And does so. Vasco now for Green River. More good defensive play from the Lady Tigers to shut down that run from Vasco. Seems after that first solo goal, solo goal from Vasco, the Lady Tigers have learned to be a little bit more physical when Vasco's on the ball, just to pinch off those solo runs and not allow her the space to run into the box and get a shot away. A hard lesson to learn early in the match for Lander, but they have responded well so far. And we'll have a throw in for Green River now. And Blue Blackburn looking to progress forward. Wins the ball, but is pushed wide now. Can she get a cross in here? Still Lander Valley looking to play the ball into a threatening area. And they do, and a shot comes off. Will roll just wide. Shot number six for Lander Valley, only one of which has been on target, but more sustained pressure from the Lady Tigers.
And with 23 minutes left in the first half here at in Lander, we have a scoreline of 1-0 in favor of Green River after that early goal scored by Issa Vasco remains the only score of this game. Lady Tigers doing well to look to equalize the score line, though so far most of their shots have side, sailed well wide of the target. as a foul now goes the way of Green River. As Lander's center backs drop back into their own half, setting up into an organized flat back line, holding that offside trap. It will drop to Vasco here and she'll get a shot away and score once again. That's 2-0 to Green River. Once again, Vasco with an impeccable finish to find the back of the net under pressure from a swarm of Lady Tigers. Very impressive performance from her early in this game. Lander kicks off again. They're now facing an uphill battle to crawl their way back into this game. It's still early and they're only down two, but they will not want to go down much more if they want to remain in this contest. That said, the Lady Tigers will not feel overly concerned. They've created a lot of chances, a lot of goal scoring opportunities, just missing that cutting edge and finishing touch so far. With 20 minutes left in this first half, they will want to score before too much more time goes by in order to remain, keep this game close and hold out for a, a good result in the match. And a throw in now for Green River deep in their own half. And now a lander throw. Deep in the corner. Another lander throw now. Green River doing well just to keep lander to the outskirts and avoid balls into the danger zone. Though they now concede a corner kick. That's good news for lander. They'll attempt to make the most of it here. So the story of this game has been prolonged possession and a lot of opportunities for Lander, but effective clinical counterattacking for Green, Green River and a 2-0 goal line in favor of the visitors to show for it. So Lander steps up again to take a corner kick. That one will fall to Blue Blackburn on the top of the box. No settled possession here as Lander looks to find a, a shot. The shot does come away and a goal. Well worked goal there. Lander Valley with a beauty here. 20 minutes left in the first half. That is now two to one in favor of Green River. Lander Valley very much in this one. That has been a long time coming and at two, two to one, this scoreline now feels much more reflective of what we've seen so far in the match. As both teams now take a short break, just to take a sip of water here in the hot sun, that will give both coaches the opportunity to gather themselves, chat with their teams after that goal, and uh, reevaluate how they want to approach the final 20 minutes of the first half. So that goal there from Lander Valley comes from a corner kick. Corner kick came in, the ball bounced around, around the top of the 18 box for a minute or two before finally a shot opening up and 
Colts finished nicely in goal for Green River. Michaela Flores almost got a hand to it, but the power on the shot just sailed through her grasp and into the net. Green River 2, Lander Valley 1. Well, it's beginning to feel like the warm season here in Lander as the sunny temps today necessitate a mid-first half water break. Temperature and conditions today are also reflected by a lot of rolled up sleeves out there. It's starting to feel like winter is in the rear view mirror, although as we know here in Fremont County, we could be in for a series of uh, more storms despite the warm, sunny spring feel in the air today. Green River will kick off now. As Blue Blackburn wins the ball, more of the high press from Lander yielding promising opportunities. Blackburn again now. As Lander looks to play it wide. Well worked here, linking several passes together. As that ball rolls into the net, but the offside flag was up. So shortly after scoring their first, first goal of the match, Lander immediately piling on the pressure, maintaining that high press, doing what they've done all game long to create goal scoring opportunities. One in the midfield once again by Lander Valley. And they win a free kick now. Momentum seriously shifting in favor of the Lady Tigers here with 18 minutes to go in the first half. Kayla Flores will gather that one for Green River. So two very distinct styles of play on display in this match. Lander with aggression and dominant possession. Meanwhile, Green River looking to just absorb pressure and score goals on the counter. Both teams have had a lot of success with their tactics in this one. It's 2-1 in favor of Green River, but it feels very clear that we have not seen all the goals that we're going to see in this match. Plenty of time left, 18 minutes in the first half and a whole second half to play. Could be in for a high scoring affair. as the Lady Tigers set up to take a throw in on the far side. A good high step there to prevent another run from Green River's Issa Vasco. Issa looks to gather again here and cleared away by Lander Valley. More of the same in this one. Green River looking to find Issa Vasco on the counter. And when she gathers the ball, she's very neat in possession, using her pace to charge at Lander Valley's goal. Though since early in this game, we've seen a solid effort at the back from Lander to keep her out and prevent those attacks forward from yielding more goals for Green River. Lander with a throw now. Issa again with the ball.
and a yellow card shown to Lander Valley's number three. Addy rounds for a challenge on Vasco. That was Tinley Reisig, rather, receiving the yellow card. She'll check out of the game now and be replaced by number 37, Philomena Olson. That's the first yellow card we've seen in this match. And the resulting free kick will be taken by Issa Vasco, the score of both of Green River's goals. Lander Valley setting up with five in the wall, defending what will likely be a direct shot on goal here from Vasco. And the shot comes in. Low into the wall. Recollected by Vasco. Blocked again. Strong defensive work there from Lander Valley. So despite conceding two goals early in the first half, it's been a strong defensive performance from the Lady Tigers so far as evidenced by that last sequence, the free kick blocked excellently by the wall and the follow-up also blocked. Lander Valley now looking to win the ball on the near side. But the ball will just roll out of bounds for a Green River throw. Lander to throw. Need immediately back out of bounds for another Lander throw. This will be number 37 to take it. Philomena Olsen, who recently checked into this game, hands off the throw into number eight. Sierra Watkins. Some physical play there will result in yet another throw in for Lander deep in Green River's half. 14 minutes on the clock in the first half. The ball comes into the box collected by Blue Blackburn and the shot taken quickly into the hands of the Green River goalkeeper there, Michaela Flores. Reacted well. Flores takes a long kick into midfield now. Gathered well, looking for Vasco up top. And a nice ball into Blue Blackburn on the far side. She'll look to make something happen here. And a cross comes in. Looking to find a forward in the center to finish it, but the offside flag is up now. That will be a free kick to Green River. It's a blue Blackburn for the Lady Tigers showing what she can do in the last few minutes. A dangerous cross and a shot on goal all in the last minute. Still Lander Valley. Looking to shoot. Ooh, and a nice shot there will roll just wide. And out of play for a goal kick. 
as both teams take the opportunity to make substitutions. Number five for Lander Tinley Rice comes back into the game. After receiving that yellow card a few minutes ago. Green River stepping up to take the goal kick here. Gathered by Lander's high press. Still Lander. As the referee blows the whistle there for a challenge on Lander Valley, they'll have a free kick here. And look to play it into the box. And just a little bit too much on that free kick. That one will roll all the way through to Michaela Flores for Green River in goal. Lander once again able to win that first ball from a, the free kick. That's been a strength of theirs in this game. Blue Blackburn looking to turn. And the high press from Lander yields another win in possession. The Lady Tigers are quick to pinch off Green River's passes in Green River's own half, win the ball back, and look to get shots on goal. That's been their sustained tactic throughout this first half. So far, one goal to show for it. Still down 2-1 to one in the match. Lots of time left to play, though. Ten minutes in the first half and a whole second half to come. Green River with an opportunity in Lander's half for the first time in several minutes. Lander continuing to dominate possession in this one. Green R River relying on the counterattack and the minority share of the possession in order to score goals. A strategy that, as of yet, has rewarded them with the lead 2-1 to one in this game. As the ball rolls down. Forward now into Green River's half. As the back line attempts to deal with it and clear the ball out of the danger area. Only as far as a Lander midfielder. Lander with possession again. Still Lander in a shot. Nice shot with lots of power. Will sail just wide. Hard, hard to tell if Michaela Flores in goal got a touch on that one. The referee says no, and it will be a goal kick to Green River. It was number three for Lander with the shot, Lily, Lily Pugrad. Lander once again winning possession in midfield. Taking their time to pick out the right pass here. Mason Morton looking to play a ball into the middle of the Green River 18 yard box. That will now roll out a play for a Lander throw in. More sustained offensive pressure from the Lady Tigers.
And Lander's high back line able to win the clearance once again. Green River now looking to counter. The pass cut out well and one back for a Lander Valley throw in on the far side. So offensively for Lander, the combination of staples in this team, the you know, Addison Weston, Blue Blackburn, Lily Pugrat, just proving to be a real handful for the Green River back line as Green River looks to play the ball out of their own half. Those three for Lander Valley continue to apply pressure, repeatedly winning the ball back and creating goal-scoring opportunities. Green River now with a throw on the far side. Lander moving down the near side here. Oh, and a foul there in favor of the Lady Tigers. Number 31, Lily Pugrad, making a long solo run, was fouled there on the outside third of the Green, Val Green River half on the near side. The free kick will come in now into the box. And over the bar for a goal kick. So with five minutes left in the first half, the score remains two to one in favor of Green River. Addison Weston wins the ball back for Lander. Looking for teammate Blue Blackburn, but cleared away by Green River. Green River with it still. Looking for Issa Vasco, the score of both of Green River's goals, who's continued to kind of hang out up top, wait for those long balls. For Green River, she is the primary offensive outlet for this Lady Wolves team. Her two excellent finishes have proven that. Lander throws in. Green River with it now on the far side. Green River still. Cleared out of bounds for a Green River throw. So Vasco looking to cross the ball into the box, but blocked there well. Once again, Lander Valley quick to diminish the threat of Vasco when she gets on the ball. That's a lesson they had to learn early in the, this match after watching Vasco score twice. Lander Valley has been more attentive to the threat since then, mostly keeping Vasco quiet in the second half of this first period of the game. And now we'll have a Green River corner kick on the far side. Vasco lingering at the top of the six yards box. The corner comes in. Dangerous corner sailed across the face of goal through a standing crowd of Tigers and Wolves. But no one to get on the end of it for either team. Lander throw on the near side. Green River now in possession. Oh, Yeah, 
And we'll have another throw-in for the Lady Tigers. At midfield comes the throw. Cleared out of bounds for another throw. With just two minutes left on the clock in the first half, both teams will be looking forward to taking a break and getting a sip of water here in this hot, sunny weather after a first half full of energy and running for both teams. Lander with a throw. Lander with a deep ball into the box, looking for Blue Blackburn up top. Nearly falls to Blackburn, but ultimately gathered by Michaela Flores in the Green River net. Long ball forward. Flores looks to gather. An awkward bounce, but Flores does just enough to get the ball out of play and win a throw in for her team with just a minute on the clock in the first half. The score remains Lander Valley 1, Green River 2. Lady Tigers looking to make one opp more opportunity in the first half and a through ball. Just a little bit too much on it and Michaela Flores will gather that one. Just look to settle her team and run out the clock on this first half. Issa Vasco looking to gather possession for her team. Referee says no foul. Lander Valley pressing forward again. Green River looking to clear. Possible handball there, but not called by the referee and a throw in for Green River here with just a few seconds left on the clock. And the whistle blows on the first period. Wrapping up a half that was full of energy and excitement from both teams. Lander Valley Lady Tigers remain down one to two in this game. We'll have 10 minutes of halftime. Stay tuned for the halftime show and shortly followed by the second half. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-2941 today. That's 332-2941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181, today. Papa Murphy's is proud to sponsor this week's Player of the Game. For a limited time, enjoy a Papa Murphy's barbecue chicken pizza made with KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. After the game or any time, you can't beat the fresh ingredients and authentic flavor of a Papa Murphy's take and bake pizza. And you know it's baked right every time because you baked it yourself. Papa Murphy's on North Federal in Riverton. Drop in or order online at papamurphys.com. Go Wolverines! When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body. Ridiculous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body. 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference.
can live pain-free, the amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. At some point, everyone is a pedestrian. When you're driving, you're to pedestrians. Wear like clothing. Walk on a pathway instead of the road. Look out for pedestrians. Avoid distractions like your phone. Look out for pedestrians, they're everywhere. We are the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. Wyoming Community Bank is ready to serve you. Stop in at 10 Lander and Dubois, a bank that is owned and operated by the local V-Bank. They're here to help you. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming dies than ever before. For more than 25 years, we've aimed to provide the best internet and phone service to meet the needs of our customers all across the great state of Wyoming. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. We're out there. 